start of the video, I did promise to share something with you. And if we go back to perfect just quickly, you remember T was time to end and how we, it's important to finish a practice off correctly. Well, as part of that, uh, there, well, there's quite a few parts in that particular letter, if you like. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, one of them is facial massage, one of them is point massage, and one of them is banging the heavenly drum. So I thought it would be fun to show you those because you, you can also benefit from them um, you know, without doing Qigong. Because if you remember, I spoke about the energy channels of the body called the meridians. That's the ones. Then on those energy channels, the reason, you know, if, let's take acupuncture for example. They put needles into specific points on the meridians where they know that if they stimulate those points, it has a tried and tested effect. So a lot of the meridians actually have start and ending points and traveling through the, you know, these vital points, if you like, on the face. So that's why you know, when we do the point massage, it can be quite beneficial and help to give a youthful glow. To, you know, if you have a problem with the skin or your complexion, this is a wonderful little tool. You know, take you five minutes if that. So I'll quickly go through the facial massage. And pretty much if you just rub your hands together, make sure your palms, you're going to do this as well, eh? I'm going to jump in and do this. Okay, well this is the easy part. Point massage could be interesting. So make sure your palms are nice and warm. And then when they're nice and warm, just gently dab the palms of your hands against the eyes. Just gently nourishing the eyes. Dab, 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 dab. And then with the fingertips, just make small circles around the eye sockets. Gradually making the circles larger and larger until you're massaging your face, your head, and your neck in circles. It's a circular movement and gentle. Don't be too rough. So that's the face. That's the facial massage. Wow. <laughs> then the point massage. So you can either use your index finger or your middle finger, mm -hmm. and pretty much. It's just applying firm pressure and then making little circles. So we start right in the corner of the eye, just gentle press and little circles. And then come up to where the eyebrows would meet. And now sweep along the eyebrows. Now midway on the eyebrow. You can always tell when you've got the right places because you feel like these little depressions on your skull. Yeah, it just like, seems to fit. Yeah, the fingertips just fit in. Yeah. Then come to the end of the eyebrow. And then come to the outside corners of your eyes. Then come to the lower half of the eye. Back to the center. And then make long sweeps down the side of the nose and then where the nostrils kind of curve in just sink the fingers in there and jiggle it about a little bit then with the big fleshy part at the base of your thumb just gently place that on the temples and in small circles in the same direction so this kind of direction as when you were doing the facial massage just gently massage the temples. And this is a good test to see if you can follow instructions because the key word here is gently. <laughs> okay. Then back to the fingers. And what you do is pretty much where the jaw goes up into the back of the ear, you're just going to stuff your fingers in there. Don't push it too hard or else you'll start coughing. But just press and then just small circles. And then finally, that's, that's the point massage, and it's working. Those points have names that I can't repeat because I only know them in the Chinese, and you know, so they're they're in the book. Um, so that's the point massage. Now the final part is banging banging the heavenly drum, and it's twenty four times. Another test to see if you can follow instructions. It's not twenty two times. It's not twenty six times. It's twenty four times. And pretty much what's happening is you, you're sealing the ears off and then you're either flicking by putting the index finger against the middle finger and flicking, or you can just use the fingers and pat the back of the head. You'll, it'll make sense in a second. But pretty much what's happening is it gives the spine, the spinal cord, kind of like a, a wake-up call. I always remember as a kid in the garden, my mum had this, uh, this big iron pole that she used to hang the washing line on, and it was rusty. 
And what we used to do as kids, we'd put our hands on it, we'd run around it as fast as we could, and, and it would be big orange hands. <laughs> we were young, and that's what you do. Time but, flew by. <laughs> the hours just flew by, the days yeah. before television and dinosaurs ruled the earth. But pretty much, if you think of this, the, the heavenly drum is kind of shaking the, the rust off yeah. the spinal column. So you're going to close the ears and flick or tap 24 times, and you'll know if you've got it right, because you'll hear a boom, boom. If you hear a kind of bap, 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 that's the, you need to have a better seal. So we'll do this 24 times. And that's it. We've finished. <laughs> I always like to take a little longer. <laughs> a little longer. I mean, again, there's no. It doesn't have to be quick. Doesn't have to be fast. At your pace, but it doesn't have to be 24 times. Which brings us very nicely to the the end. So, what I'd like to do is, is thank you for watching the video, and I'd like to thank Jordan for travelling down to pay me a visit. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks. Thanks for letting me come down here and share the moment. Probably so, along. remember, yeah, this is the the last bit. Qigong is best learned directly from a master or at least a suitably qualified instructor, but. And it's one of the reasons I, I made the Secrets of the Ancient Energy Masters home study course is that I know that for whatever reason there are lots of people who are unable to find a suitably qualified instructor or a master but who genuinely are dedicated, are committed, want to take back the responsibility for their health and vitality and want to learn high level Qigong but for whatever reason you know they can't you know it's, it's traveling thousands of miles to learn from somebody isn't always practical Although if you're very serious, you will. I mean, we both, you know, we've sure, shown sure. Malaysia many times. But oh, yeah, yeah. So what I wanted to do for those people who, you know, are genuine and are committed, like you, who want to learn high-level Qigong, I created the, the, the Secrets of the Ancient Energy Masters. It's a, a weekly home study course. So it's the, it's the next best thing to learning directly from me. Um, but obviously, if you can find yourself a master, and hopefully equipped with the information on this video, you will be much clearer as to you know, what's high-level Qigong, which is what you want to be practicing, and what is low-level Qigong, which you want sure. to avoid. Yeah. It's not evil, but... It's, just, <laughs> it's, not, it's not evil, no. but you know, we just don't do it. No. Uh, <laughs> it's better to practice <laughs> high-level Qigong. I'm just going to... Yeah. yeah, okay. So, that's it. We've covered everything. And thank you for watching, thank you for your interest, and here's to your health and your happiness. Bye for now. Bye-bye.